In today's tutorial, I will be making this cute kitty hat for children. For work, we need five different color yarns, a crochet hook, scissors, a tapestry needle, stitch markers, a measuring tape, and I have a heart-shaped button for nose. I will be making this hat for 50 cm of head circumference. So, begin the work by making a slip knot and then chain 80 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Continue until you have 80 chain stitches. Make these stitches little looser than you usually do. Once you make a chain of 80, join the chain in the round by making a slip stitch through the first chain stitch. Here we made a ring. This ring of chain stitches should fit child's head perfectly. Before we continue, let's measure it. Here in half we have 25 cm, which will definitely be good for 50 cm of head circumference. Let's continue and begin the first round. Chain 3 to bring up the yarn. 1, 2, 3 and then double crochet into each chain stitch of the foundation chain. Yarn over and double crochet into the next chain stitch. Continue double crochet till the end of this round. Work through in each chain stitch. Here I'm about to complete this first round Double crochet through the last three chain stitches. One, two, and the last double through the last chain stitch. Three. And complete the round by making a slip stitch through the third chain stitch. One, two, three. Slip stitch is made. The first round is ready. The second round and the next 13 rounds will be the same as this first one. So, chain 3 to bring up the yarn. 2, 3. And double crochet through an inch double of previous round. Then double crochet through the next double. And continue double crochet till the end. Keep working in this way for the next 13 rounds. Work until you have 15 rounds made. Here I made 15 rounds of double crochet. This is the body part of a hat. I'm holding the work with the back part facing me because you can see these chain stitches in the middle. This is the back. Before we begin the next 16th round, we need to divide our work in half to clearly see the back and the front of our work. For this, count 20 stitches away from the beginning of the round. Now count the chain stitches as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And place the stitch marker between the 20th and 21st stitch. And on the opposite side do the same. Skip 20 double crochet stitches away from the beginning. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And 
for the stitch marker after this double. Now we divided our work and can continue crocheting the next round. To begin the next 16th round, chain 3 to bring up the yarn, 1, 2, 3, and double crochet through an inch of next 18 double crochet stitches of previous round. Work until you reach the double crochet that is before the stitch marker. 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and the last double. 18. Here I reached the double that is before the stitch marker through this double and the one that is right after the stitch marker double crochet two together. Begin the first double through the next stitch. Work it like you would until you have two loops on the hook. Hold these two loops and begin the second double through the next stitch. Work through the next double, which is the first one after the marker. Work until you have three loops on the hook. Then yarn over and pull through three to complete the decrease stitch. Now continue and double crochet through an inch of next 38 stitches. Work till you reach the double in previous round that is before the next stitch marker. I made 38 doubles in a row and reached the second stitch marker. Now work the same as we did on the opposite side. Double crochet two together through the doubles that are before and after the marker. Again, work the double until you have two loops on the hook, then begin the next double through the next stitch. Work until you have three loops on the hook. Then yarn over and pull through three. Make these two doubles together. Continue and double crochet through an inch of next 19 stitches. Work till the end of this round. Work the last double And to complete this round, make a slip stitch through the third chain stitch. One, two, three. Round 16 is made. I remind you that on this round we made two decrease stitches, one on the right and the other one on the left. Let's mark these decrease stitches with our rings. Just move them up to the last round, like this. And do the same on the other side. With this 16th round, we completed the body part of a hat. Now let's continue and crochet the ears. Before we start crocheting the left ear, we need to mark the stitches where we should begin it. 
To do this, count 15 double crochet stitches to the left away from the decreased stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And place the stitch marker in between the 15th and 16th double crochet stitches. Then do the same, count 15 stitches to the right away from the same decreased stitch and place the marker there as well. As you can see, I've already done it. Now when you hold your work with the back part facing you, here you can see this part is where the left ear will be. So now I will move the yarn to the first double on previous round that is right after the marker. I will do it by making slip stitches. But at the same time with these slip stitches, I will attach the back and the front of our hat together. So to begin, insert the hook through the opposite double that is on the front of a hat and make a slip stitch through. Then insert the hook through the next double of the back and then through the next double of the front and work a slip stitch through these two stitches. Repeat the same two more times. Insert the hook through the next stitch of the back and then through the next double of the front. Take the working yarn, pull through these two stitches and then through the loop on your hook. Now here we have one more double before the marker. Insert the hook through this double then through the double of the front. Here it is also the double before the marker and work a slip stitch through these two stitches. Here you can see with these slip stitches we joined the back and the front together. Now at this point begin crocheting the left ear. To start, slip into the first double that is after the marker. Then chain 3 to bring up the yarn and begin the first round. 1, 2, 3. And now double crochet 3 together. For this, begin the first double through the next stitch. Work it like you would until you have two loops on the hook. Then work the second double through the next stitch. Work until you have three loops on the hook. And begin the third double through the next stitch. Work until you have four loops on the hook. Then yarn over and pull through four. Now continue double crochet through in each of next 23 stitches. I made 23 double crochet stitches in a row and almost reached the second marker that is on the front. Now again double crochet 3 together. Two and the last one, three, make them together, and then double crochet through the last stitch before the marker. Now to join this row in the round, make a slip stitch through the third chain stitch. One, two, three. Here we've just completed the first round of the left ear. To crochet the second round, chain three, one, two, three. And work the decrease stitch again, double crochet three together. Begin the first double through the next stitch. 
Do not complete this double. Work the second one through the next stitch and the third one through the next stitch. Then yarn over and pull through four. Now double crochet through an inch of next 19 stitches. Once you double crochet 19 in a row, again double crochet three together. One. Two and the last double three. Now yarn over and pull through four. Then double crochet through the next double. And complete the round by making a slip stitch through the third chain stitch. One, two, three. Now begin the third round. Chain three to bring up the yarn. One, two, and three and double crochet three together. One, two, and the last one, three. Yarn over and pull through four. Then double crochet 15. Continue. I made 15 double crochet stitches in a row. Now again, do the decrease stitch, double crochet three together. One. two, and the last one, three. Then yarn over and pull through four. Then double crochet through the last double. And now make a slip stitch through the third chain stitch to complete the round. One, two, three. Now work round four. Do the same, chain three to bring up the yarn. One, two, three. Then again, double crochet three together. One, two, and the last one, three. Yarn over, pull through four, then double crochet eleven, after you double crochet eleven, work the same, double crochet three together, one, two, Then yarn over, pull through four to complete the decrease stitch. Then double crochet through the last double on previous round. And complete this round by making a slip stitch through the third chain stitch. One, two, three. Begin round five, chain three, one, two, three, 
Again, double crochet three together. One, two, and the last double, three. Then yarn over, pull through all to make them together. Then double crochet seven. One, two, this is the third one. Four, five, six, and the last one, seven. Then continue double crochet three together. One, two, three. Now make them together, pull through all loops. Continue, double crochet through the last stitch on previous round. And complete the round by making a slip stitch into the third chain stitch. Now work round six. This is the last round. Chain three, one, two, three. Again, double crochet three together. One, two, and three. Yarn over and pull through all. Then double crochet three in a row. One, two, and three. And again, double crochet three together. One, Two and the last one, three. Yarn over and pull through four. Then double crochet through the last stitch. Here is this last double of previous round, double crochet through, and then make a slip stitch through the third chain stitch to complete the round. One, two, three. The left ear of our kitty hat is ready. Now cut off the yarn and pull this last loop all the way through the stitch to secure the end. This tail you can hide inside. This is the left ear. Now to begin the right ear, we need to turn the work to the front and here on this side do the same. First we need to mark the stitches where the ear starts. For this, from this side decrease stitch that is marked with a stitch marker, count 15 double crochet stitches to both sides and mark those stitches with the rings. Now we can see where the right ear will be. Before we start crocheting the ear, we need to join the yarn to work. And here, I need to work slip stitches to attach the back and the front together and close the crown. So to join the new yarn to work, insert the hook through the next double of the front and then through the next double of the back. 
take the working yarn and pull it through. Then work a slip stitch through the next pair of double crochet stitches. Then repeat, working through the next two stitches. Keep working until you reach the markers. The tail end I will bring to the wrong side of my work and hide it there. Now I need to work the last slip stitch through the last pair of double crochet stitches. Here we've reached the rings and at this point we can begin crocheting the ear. Work the exact same way as we did the left ear. Work a slip stitch through the first double after the marker. Slip stitch is made. Now begin the first round. Chain 3 to bring up the yarn. One two, three, then double crochet three together, one, two, and the last one, three. Yarn over and pull through four, and continue with 23 double crochet stitches. After you made 23 double crochet stitches, again double crochet 3 together, 1, 2, and the last one. We have four loops, yarn over, pull through all, then double crochet through the last double that is before the marker, and now to join this row in the round, make a slip stitch through the third chain stitch that we made in the beginning. One, two, three. The first round is made. To work the second round, chain 3 and continue the same as we did the first ear. Work 5 more rounds following the same pattern. Here how our ready head looks like. This is the back. And this is the front. Now let's measure it. The width of our hat is 25 centimeters, so it will be perfect for 50 52 centimeters of hat circumference. The height is 18 centimeters. The length of the ear is 8 centimeters. And the distance between the ears is 6 centimeters. The body of our hat is ready. In the second part of tutorial 6, I will continue the work and show you how to make a nice funny face for this kitty hat. Thanks a lot for watching.